Oh, you ready? Okay. So we have b to the negative 1 over b to the negative 5, 6. And when looking at this problem, what we're going to do is obviously we need to apply a couple rules. And now they're just asking us to simplify, right? So we want to put this in simplest form. So there's a couple things we need to remember. First of all, whenever you have x to the negative power, we know that equals 1 over x to the n, right? So let's go and do that. OK, now let's say we wanted to simplify this, right? Why not? Let's just simplify this, see what it'd look like. So maybe let's rewrite this in radical form. OK, do we ever simplify um, expressions with a radical in the denominator? No. no. Right? And do you guys remember la last class period? What did we, if I need to get this simplified, what would I have to multiply by? I need to take the sixth root. To undo that, I need to take the sixth root of something raised to the what power? Sixth power. So if right now I have, if I have b to the fifth, to get that to be b to the sixth power, I have to multiply by what? b. So I have to take it, multiply by the sixth root of b <coughs> on the top and the bottom, right? That's what we did last class period. We talked about how to simplify those with the powers. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we don't need to even we don't even show we don't need to show this in radical form. We could also just show this in rational form. Right? If I need to get my exponent to be 1, what do I need to add to 5 6 to make it 6 6 or 1? 1 6. So I can just simply multiply by b to the 1 6 power on the top and the bottom. So if I multiply the top and the bottom by b to the 1 6, I now obtain b to the 1 6 over b to the 6 over 6, which equals b to the 1 6 over b. Does everybody see that? It's the same thing if you would have done it over here. You still would have got the sixth root of b over b. Is the sixth root of b over b the same thing as b to the 1 6 power over b? Yeah, it's the exact same thing. Here's the way of doing it with rational expressions. Here's the way of doing it with radicals. All right? OK. 